Hey, Jeff here with Digital Trends. We uh, just downloaded the new Windows 8 Consumer Preview that was just announced yesterday by Microsoft uh, last night here in Barcelona. Uh, we're here for the Mobile World Congress trade show. Uh, probably uh, yesterday morning or this morning for you guys, I'm not really sure. So this is the new interface. This is the Consumer Preview. It's a little more, it's a little upgraded from the Developer Preview that came in uh, a few months ago. Uh, Microsoft has finally added a store so you can actually get uh, apps. As you can see, we have a few updates here. Easy to install updates, easy to look through apps. This kind of works just like any, if you have a smartphone, um, an iPhone, Android, uh, Windows phone is extremely like it. Uh, you can click on pretty much anything. And everything is free right now. Eventually, things will be priced, I think, a um, $1.49 and up or $1.29 and up. Uh, they're trying to go for a little more expensive than the 99 cent iOS stuff. So to navigate, we're using a regular computer. This will be mostly a touch interface where you'll be able to swipe back and forth and all that. As you can see, it gets little notifications come up here. You could actually click on that and it'll open up whatever I just installed. So this is a different app. Um, we're using a mouse. I don't know if you can see over here. We've got a scroll wheel. Some apps support the scroll wheel, some don't right now. That's one of the problems. Um, but you can grab here at the bottom and move back and forth. A little unintuitive. You can also try, some apps will support the uh, using the direction keys on a regular laptop, some won't. Um, so developer support is a little bit of an issue. If you want to navigate between apps, uh, you can either go here in the lower left or the lower right. We'll, uh, we'll try to get to, if I can do this right, you can drag it a full screen or you can go up and if you go down here you can see a list of all the different apps. Previously in the developer preview you could only get the last app that you were using. Now there's a whole list here. So we'll try dragging an app over and you can do kind of a multitasking thing here. And if you double click you can switch it. Some apps can display small, some just can't. Uh, there's the new Microsoft Windows uh, music store. Uh, so this is going back to the home screen. You can also get to the regular desktop there. Looks just like Windows 7. Uh, they've removed the start start button there. A little bit controversial. But other than that, it's, it's pretty much the same. You can actually right click in the start area and get to stuff like control panel and all the old stuff that you used to use. Um, We've had some trouble with browsers. Microsoft didn't actually include a browser, a new Metro browser. So we have to swap to the old desktop to use a browser and none of them are working. Uh, we just got an update that kind of killed our uh, Internet Explorer browser. So we'll try to navigate there. It just doesn't, nothing's loading anymore. So that's not working. Whenever we try to launch Google Chrome, um, when we installed Windows, all of the apps that were already on Windows 7 moved over with it, but uh, some of them don't appear to be working correctly. So that we don't have any internet right now. Um, moving back to the desktop here, Microsoft did enhance some other stuff. You can now right click. You can do that in some of the apps too. And you can bring up a full list of the apps that you have installed on your machine. Uh, this includes old style apps, uh, you know, like your control panel, Microsoft Word, all your old Windows 7 stuff, but it's also got all the stuff you install uh, from the Microsoft Windows Store. So there's that. You can get out of that by going back in the lower left there again. You can also bring up a, ch you can push this in the little lower right, a zoomed out view and you can actually manipulate all of your uh, items. You can move different live tiles, they're called, around. These aren't quite icons. They can do more than that. Like They can display some information like your emails, uh, stock information, whatever they want to put on them. You can't currently change the size of them. Each app has its own size. You can make new columns, though. Put them over like that. You can make another new column. And you can zoom out here, and you could actually name a group like Jeff's apps or something like that and zoom back in. So that's it's pretty intuitive to manipulate stuff on the desktop now which is nice. 
Uh, if you also put your mouse over here on the lower right, you get these charms bar. Um, they're calling it a charms bar. You can do stuff like search through the machine to search for apps and stuff like that. Uh, you can also look through different devices, like if you had a second screen attached. Uh, settings will have, bring up stuff like notifications, power, uh, volume, your connections. You can go to more PC settings and break up the whole settings menu. Um, the problem is with a lot of this stuff is you can get pretty deep, um, decently deep into menus like this. They've added more than there was in the developer preview for, for modifying the computer, but once you really start trying to do things, you end up back in the traditional desktop. And the problem with that, it's just a little awkward. If, if uh, Even if you're over in the start menu and you want to do your task manager, it'll bring you right back to the, uh, the traditional desktop. It does have some of the Metro apps, so you can end task on whatever, whatever you're doing, but it's just a little awkward. They're completely different interfaces. Uh, Microsoft just hasn't, it feels like it's just unfinished. Um, there's obviously nothing horribly wrong with the old way Windows worked, but it's actually really pleasant to use the, the new uh, interface when it's, when it's working correctly. We assume it'll work a little better um, when it's finished. I'll show you a couple more apps here. Uh, once there's some more complex apps going on, uh, it'll be it'll be pretty good. Some of these, yeah. See, so you can right click um, and get kind of a menu here of different options. You can also go to settings for apps, and you can get your weather settings and probably set a different location for where you want the weather. Um, there's different options like that in a lot of the apps. A couple of the apps don't work. Cut the rope keeps crashing our computer. Um, I'm assuming that's just a bug that'll get worked out. Uh, they have Xbox Live stuff. We're assuming there's going to be more Xbox Live integration. You can open uh, your Bing Maps. And I think that's a good overview. Is there anything I'm missing, Nick? I think that's it. I think that's, we'll have a, uh, we'll have a more complete write-up uh, in the near future, but that's kind of a, uh, 